Is Dallas a cheap place to live? The short answer is yes. The long answer is it depends where you're moving here from. So in this video, I'll show you just how affordable Dallas is compared to other major cities like LA, New York, and Chicago. We'll be looking at the cost of housing, food, entertainment, and healthcare. And if you stick around until the end, I'll give you a good idea of exactly how much house you can expect to afford here based on your salary. My name is Michael. I own a local real estate brokerage here in the Dallas area. And if you're looking to make a move anywhere in the Dallas area, whether it's next week or next year, I'd love to connect. I've helped every one of these yellow dots find their a little piece of Texas, and I'd love to help you too. Just call, text, or shoot me an email. All of that info is in the description below. There are a few big advantages you'll have living here in Dallas versus other major cities. The first, of course, is that we have no state income tax, and the second is that our housing is much more affordable than other major cities. Compared to other cities with a similar cost of living like Denver or Atlanta, we have the least expensive housing. So if home ownership is something that's important to you, Dallas is a really great place for that. Okay, first up in our affordability comparison is Dallas versus New York City. More specifically, we'll be comparing with Manhattan because that's where most people think of when they hear New York City. The average salary here in Dallas is around 65K according to payscale.com, so that's what we'll be using for today's comparison. According to our cost of living calculator here on NerdWallet, the cost of living is 136% higher in Manhattan than it is in Dallas. That means whatever lifestyle you could afford here in Dallas on a 65K salary, you'd need to make $153,438 to live the same lifestyle in Manhattan. Looking at housing costs, median rents here in Dallas for a two bedroom apartment are $1,594, and the median home price is around $421,000. What do you think? Does that seem affordable to you compared to where you live now? Let me know in the comments below. The median Dallas apartment is actually $3,051 a month cheaper and the median home in Dallas is more than $1.9 million cheaper. That means you could buy nearly six median priced homes in Dallas for the price of one in Manhattan. Let's take a quick look at a $1.6 million Manhattan home versus one in the prime area of Dallas. All right, so doing a search here around this price range, we got this little apartment for 1.6 million. It's a two bed, two bath. We have our this one's got some great style. However, the square footage is not listed, which I thought was interesting. I didn't know you could list something without putting the square footage, but I see a lot of these apartments in New York don't have square footage listed, probably because they're tiny and you just know it's gonna be small. I mean, look at the size of that kitchen. It's like a closet compared to what you'd get here in Texas, as you'll see here in a minute. Okay, okay. Obviously everything is small. That's your office, I guess. Just a desk on a wall. Got some great views. As you can see, there's no central AC. You've got these wall units. It's a nice little bathroom. And there you have the full tour. All right, here is what you could expect to get in a great area of Dallas. This is 3,300 square feet. It's sitting on a 0.3 acre lot. It's a four bed, three and a half bath home huge spaces, fully updated. And I actually know the builders who did this one. They've done my last two personal homes. I also did a video walkthrough tour of one of their renovations, similarly priced to this one. I believe it was also 1.6. So I'll put a link to that somewhere if you wanna see what it looks like in person actually filmed. Look at that detail. I love these colors. There is the average Texas size office. Beautiful bathroom finishes. And if you're interested in building or renovating something like this, let me know and I can put you in touch with these builders. They're very good about this specific style. There's your half bath, another full bath, another full bath. and you got a swimming pool. So there you have it. All right, moving on to transportation. The cost of gas is 38% lower here in Dallas. For food, your average groceries will be 43% lower, and more specifically, a McDonald's quarter pounder with cheese will cost you $1.10 less in Dallas, which is like getting one free McChicken. So moving to Dallas is like getting free McChickens for life for all of you New Yorkers. Your entertainment costs will be about 23% lower. I honestly can't believe you guys are paying $18 for a movie ticket. But in Dallas, your healthcare will be 4% higher, which is only a few dollars difference. But Manhattan is probably the most expensive city in the US, so let's move on to something that's a little more affordable. Up next, we're gonna check out Los Angeles. Okay, it's kind of weird that they lumped in Long Beach specifically with the LA calculation, so anyone watching in LA, please let me know if you think that will have a significant impact on these numbers. But according to our cost of living calculator, cost of living is 48% higher in Los Angeles, so whatever lifestyle you could live in Dallas on 65,000, you would need to make 96,000 living in LA. Is that surprising to you? Let me put it to you this way for the young Hollywood aspiring actors crowd. In Dallas, you don't even have to have roommates to afford your rent and you'll have central heating and air conditioning. 
no more window units. And for everyone who says Texas is too hot, I would much rather live in the 100 degree Texas heat with a fully air conditioned home than live in the valley with the exact same 100 degree heat but having window units. Also, we don't have June gloom. We have June wakeboarding out on the lake instead. And we also have way less traffic. But starting with housing, housing costs are 140% higher in LA. The median apartment is gonna cost you $1,472 less in Dallas. And the median home will cost you $616,000 less in Dallas. Just looking at this difference. So the median home price is two and a half times more expensive in LA. So if you live in LA and home ownership is out of the question for you, that won't be the case in Texas. And as mentioned, if you watch until the end, I'll show you what kind of house you can expect to afford here in Dallas based on your salary. So watch until the end. For a quick reference, let's just see what a million dollar home in the Dallas area looks like versus LA. Here we have a beautiful Los Angeles home listed at 950,000. This is 1,457 square feet. Look at this beautiful exterior texture. Okay, plenty of parking for all your friends outdoor dining patio it's gated and that's all you get so here's one in dallas it's the same builders that i just showed you this one's actually a four bed three bath just over 2700 square feet so let's check it out and this one is listed at 950. so the exact same price that you would get that home for in la you would get all of this here in dallas fully updated everything on trend, skylights, tall ceilings. And there you have it. This is what you could afford in Dallas for the exact same price there in LA. Your fuel costs here in Dallas would be 44% less. Your food costs would be 15% less. Your entertainment costs would be 3% less, but your healthcare would be 1% higher, which again is 128 to $135, a few dollars difference. All right, now let's move on to Chicago. So Chicago is a great example of what I was trying to say earlier, where it's kind of a similar cost of living, but the housing in Chicago is 53% more expensive. So again, the Dallas housing market is very affordable compared to most major cities. The overall cost of living is only 17% higher in Chicago, which means whatever lifestyle you could live in Dallas on 65,000, you would only need to make 76,250 to live that lifestyle in Chicago. But as we said, the housing is 53% higher. The median apartment is gonna cost you $1,160 a month less in Dallas and the median home will cost you $135,000 less in Dallas. Your fuel costs will be 41% less in Dallas. Your food costs will be 9% lower in Dallas. Your entertainment costs, however, will be 3% higher and your health care, again, 4% higher. But again, we're looking at a $2 difference on entertainment, like $15 difference on a doctor's visit. So not a big difference there. Okay, now as promised, I'd like to show you exactly how much house you can expect to afford here in Dallas based on your salary. And this is assuming a 6.5% interest rate and that you're only wanting to put 5% down, as that's what most of our buyers do. We're gonna start with, if you make around 70K a year, you can expect to afford around a 350K home right now. So here's one that I actually saw recently, it was listed at 300,000, just under 1,500 square feet. It's a three bed, two bath in Richardson, Texas, which is just outside of Dallas. It would take you maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get to anything in Dallas. This is a great option if you're looking in the 350k price point. As you can see, it's open concept, it's fully updated. Large master bath. There's a guest bath. Got a nice backyard. So this is a great representation of 350k. And I also did a live tour of this house in the video I did touring Richardson, Texas. So I'll put a link up here if you want to check that out. Okay, the next salary we're looking at is 120K because that is two people making a 60K salary. That's pretty common if we have a couple here moving to Dallas. At that point, you would be looking closer to a $600,000 home. This is a great representation of a $600,000 home. It's a four bed, three bath, 2115 square feet. Now this one does have a $440 HOA, but it's only quarterly, so it's not that much. This is a newer build as well. Concrete floors, modern looking. So this is a great example of something that you could get around 600 in Dallas. And this one's pretty close to White Rock Lake as well if you like biking, kayaking, all that stuff. Small yard for your dog. 
there you have it. Up next is if your household income is around 200,000, you'll be getting pretty close to the million dollar mark. So I'm just gonna show you again the house we just looked at as it was listed at 950. Again, 950,000, four bed, three full bath, around 2,700 square feet, just really beautifully updated. I mean, this is a beautiful house really at any price point. And again, if you wanna be connected with these builders, just let me know. And once again, if you're ever looking to make a move in the Dallas area, whether it's next week or next year, I'd love to connect. Call, text, or shoot me an email. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.